A very common way of expressing or writing a vector is in what's known as component form. And, and basically it goes something like this. As you probably already know, vectors actually represent an infinite number of line segments. So as long as these guys have the same direction and the same magnitude, which means the same length, all these guys are considered to be the same vector. It doesn't really matter where you draw it if it has the same direction and magnitude. So what we do in light of that is we actually just for consistency sake wind up drawing all these guys originating from the origin. It just makes it easier, it makes it uh, more consistent and that's what component form does. So if you take all these guys and just wipe them all away and just draw one representative example with somebody starting at the origin that has that direction and that magnitude, this represents that vector. It represents all those infinitely many line segments. All right, and so uh, a benefit to this is in component form, the vector now really only kind of depends on the terminal point, right? Because the initial point is going to be zero, zero, um, like, like we said earlier. So if this terminal point ends at, let's say, a comma b, then we're going to write the vector. Vectors are written as uh, a V or a W or some letter, usually with a half arrow over the top. Um, we're going to write this vector as A comma B, almost like a point. But uh, for point, as you know, we put parentheses to represent a point. Well, to, to tell the reader that it's a vector instead of a point that we're trying to represent, we're going to put these things called um, angle brackets. So these, um, uh, these angled um, brackets around the A and the B, and that is a vector represented in component form that uh, we assume has the initial point zero, zero, that's implied because we're using component form, and a terminal point of a comma B. So it makes it very easy to represent vectors um, using this form. So for example, if you had a vector W that was the vector negative two comma five, then what we would do is we would recognize that this is a vector starting at zero, zero, whose terminal point is negative two comma one, two, three, four, five. So it would start at the origin and end here. We would draw a line segment up to it. And so this is the vector W. So again, vectors have these little half arrows. If you're reading it in a textbook, it might be just uh, written in bold, but uh, handwriting, pencil and paper, it's hard to do bold letters. So if you're writing it by hand, you'll usually put a little half arrow over it to represent a vector. So that's component form. In another video, we'll talk about how to add and subtract vectors in component form and all sorts of other things as it relates to vectors. But uh, for this video, I think that'll be it. We're, we just wanted to introduce the idea and notation of component form.